Where am I? Oh, okay, I was recording. Um, hello guys, some of us in here, and back today, we're gonna do some video uh, making a model for a game. It's right here. And I think it's right there, being lagged to death. Here and there. But I think it's right there, it's like the bench. But it's making its way in. But then again, it would be easy to make a video editing software to make it happen. But then again, this is not a video editing software, this is something else, so... Yeah, you cannot expect that much. And then again, making models is like very frustrating. I mean, so frustrating. I mean, can you see this? See this map. <laughs> this will take 30 hours, please. And this will take a while. So I guess after 30, 30 minutes later, it's somehow finished. It looks good somehow. Let me just... Not this one. Just... There we go. And then put the texture there. Damn! It looks better. Let's see how good the texture looks, please. It took me around two days. Or just a day, of course. But then I wanted to make this model for Half-Life 2. And you can see right there, there's some lags. But then again, if you don't record, you may get 60. But then again, this is software-based. Now that I don't have any capture card. It's too expensive. And it's quite cheap. 500 BDT, man. It's a scam from China, man. <laughs> And then I think if I have to do this, I think I make a good result. Oh my good paparazzi man, what is this? What is this? It looks so shiny. Damn son. That is so good. And this tip is right here is like nothing. This is just copper that I made. This is shiny rub black rubber to hold the weapon. This is 24k premium gold that I made for Half-Life 2 and again it looks so beautiful holy shit I think Half-Life 2 is gonna get a big upgrade with this thing I'm gonna upgrade the scope is shiny platinum and this is nickel nickel I think this is shiny plastic. I'm not sure that I kind of forgot. This is emerald, the holding itself. This is our ammunition box, which is that yellow thing. And it is absolutely looks of gorgeous. And the black thing is our like, what? Black metallic frame. It looks so sharp, you know? And then this is our uh, suppressor. Interestingly, it is carbon fiber type. Originally, this is also rubber type. But no, this is not rubber. This is a um, magnetic type. Magnetic weapon. You know one of those things? I think you guys know one of those things. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. And this tip here, it is fully brass, heavily brass with gold type uh, suppressor tunnel, weapon tunnel. And this tip is our like ammo tunnel inserter, which is, like it takes ammo from this one, like those one of those machine guns from Only Can Showcase, made by NoClick. Uh, link in the description of the video, and you may find a good example of that weapon. Like it's a, like a machine gun, but it's only cans, like a Counter Strike weapon, like a machine gun. And so the reload animation is like this. And yeah, this is like a fully open base, not like one of those things that like you have to like insert it in, then close it. There's a close thing, so it is absolutely exposed. But then again, they have like this one's the magnetic system. I mean, instead of like a magnet type weapon, like a gravity gun. But then again, this is not a gravity gun. This looks like a fucking tau cannon. <laughs> Shots like a tau cannon, but then again, it is actually not a tau cannon. If once if it shoots like a tau cannon, then it's like like shooting like a sniper. Very very high, like a hundred kilogram force of sniper shot or ten or twenty kilogram force. It's very overkill, you know. Really overkilled weapon. Hopefully, once I uh, export this gun here, like this is completely unexistent. Like, no one cannot make did not make this. I have to make it by myself, even if I'm dumb and less mod. Look at this concept. It is absolutely masterpiece. Wow. I kinda like that. And then you have to do another one, which is this one. Oh. Oh, this is the animal. Oopsie. 
then you have to do another one uh, you have to do the same thing uh, you have to go to the subdivision surface and instead of like cat mode Clark use simple if you really like that and then view to 2 renders obviously needs to be 2 you cannot up it up and if you have a good PC you can up it up like 6 view is 6 6 is the maximum number for blender as a 2.2.79 and then yeah and apply it good what it does that you want to click more edit you can get more space trying to do more things you have our texture let's go to texture oh, oh I forgot before I even add the texture what I need to do real quick is that click unwrap by clicking U there you go and I wanted to do is it you see that hypnotized thing at the tip at the top like that you do you see my mouse pointer yes what I need to do is I click the tip of it click it drag it drag the part and left it good what I need to do now now is that click this one which is this cube thingy and then quickly go to UV image editor and ignore that one you don't have to worry about this one this will be fixed later on don't worry you don't need to worry about then go to the this open image go to the C file where you keep all of your things <laughs> and I uh, like like wrote the name just to make more sense and this is how uh, this is emerald completely <laughs> overkilled emerald <laughs> click new you can make it a glossy you can make it <laughs> Color to image texture. Now it's a missing file, not the gloss type. What I need to do is to click open file real quickly and then ammo mount holder. Roughness, increase roughness to make it better. I increase to this one. Hopefully that looks good. I think it looks nice. But then again, now what I need to do is to go to the camera by clicking object mode. And real quickly, what I need to do is to click that thing, and then you have to click numpad zero or either a zero for another zero from the keyboard. And then what to do is shift plus F to watch, to rendering. I think this is the camera we're supposed to do. Like this, is the tip. Click left mouse to adjust it, and click the numpad zero again to exit the camera and then click render you have two other choice first you can do it here or here you have two other choice or you can create audio by yourself mix the scenes audio to get a sound file and then let's click and this will take another 30 minutes even after 20 minutes it work uh, such a problem and after six hours later it finally happened oh my god it took like six hours <laughs> i don't know why small things take so long I don't even know, very unexpected. It's even slightly laggy, but I won't ruin my progress. Let's go to render view. Oh boy, it looks very very nice. Very shiny. And let's just go to the disable control. And we're gonna go to the the back plate. Control it again to see what's wrong. Okay. Okay, that's our problem and instead of going to this we're going to go to subdivision service subdivision surface and then really quickly just happened i don't know what just happened now what we need to do is real quickly is go to the simple file and then click apply and make sure the view in view is two and render is two apply that what i need to do is quickly go to the edit mode and then what i need to do is to click unwrap and then what to do is to slide that drag that part good and then what to do is to quickly go to the UV image editor go to the texture and then real quickly we yeah, this is our texture here and then we only need to add in surface but rather a new texture put a new material open uh, glossy and then real quickly and go to the image texture click open go to the file you love and then the texture you need to get just interesting brightness uh, uh, that looks better 
That looks a lot better. As you can see with the material there, it looks so nice. It looks so gorgeous, not gonna lie though. Ah, I hope I didn't make a trash weapon. I mean, this is like a custom, all-in-one, different types of metal, metallic weapon. This is like a Tau Cannon, but then again, this is like, it shots like a sniper. And then fully automatic as a machine gun, minigun, or machine gun quote. So, yeah. And then what you do is to go to the camera. What you do is to go to the object mode. And what you do is click the camera there and then click numpad zero. And then save plus F and quickly go to the file. And as you can see right there, we're going to get a file. Which is to click to save here. This is the thing where we're going to print it. And then what you do real quick is to make sure that we're going to go to the disable camera. Disable camera. There you go. Go to that tip where we were like wanted to edit and this one click object mode still just in case and then click render and this is to be finished and then you may get a fully of render and then you have to export it real quick this will take three hours for this also then again after a long time it's somehow finished let's see how those all look like it's gonna like good now we're gonna just like Hey, that's not bad, eh? We're making there, due to the shadow reflection, obviously this will be a lot. Now, the down part, which is these. And you go quick, there you go. And then we're gonna quickly make the camera down. And then go to the camera. It's so laggy, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. And this is where the ammunition will get hold it. Set the camera. There you go. And then we're gonna real quickly go to the edit mode. And then real quickly we're gonna to change the ammunition. Ammunition counter. New. Uh, glossy. Image texture. Open. And then real quickly do it up. It takes so long, you know, to make one thing. It was like so much painful at first because I didn't know how to do this at the time. Okay, let's see. And we're gonna render it. Using objective mode now. And click render. And this will take another hour. Absolute pain in hell. And as it is right there, I kinda designed it and it looks like this. Absolutely amazing. It looks a bit better now. Not gonna lie though. The concept looks absolutely amazing. Here's the concert image of this. I mean, you know, I could use... Legendary color, you know? Absolutely unique design. I don't know, but how did this happen? Unclear. It looks absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely masterpiece. Now, let me finish it more and let's see the final result. Then quickly what you need to do is to go to the edit mode. But before you do that, make sure you quickly go the modifier. Like this is absolute masterpiece. Nope. Oh, wrong one. Oopsies. Damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Wrong one. Come on! Why wrong ones? Why? Why? Just why wrong ones? See, okay, it's too high. Too high. Way higher than before. 
on a decrease on the heightness even more go to the internal okay, and then make sure that it holds the entire thing gonna go back make sure uh, I think it's a bit short and let's see if this is enough let's see let's insert and then flip it up and you need to make sure that it doesn't flip it has to be like this And then okay, back to the work. Make sure it's on the surface. Simple, dual, quick, administered. And then what I want to do is that go to the edit mode, and then real quickly, before doing anything, click unwrap. Yeah, I bought a new texture. So let's see if this works. Called sapphire texture. One of my favorite texture of all time. And after that, to cut the video because. It is laggy as fuck, to be honest. Which is... Ammo system bracket holder. There it is. It looks so beautiful, not gonna lie. And I wanted to do is quickly go to the... Glossy. Image texture. And real quickly... Go to file, bracket, and this was roughness if you really want to. And then what I need to do, we go to the camera here, object mode, and real quickly what I need to do is do this, control F, and then go to the camera, real quick. The sun is there, so our strength is right away going good. What the hell happened? Wait! Hold on a second. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Where's the material? What the? Uh, uh, hello? Um. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not what I'm doing, but. Hold on, it's a bit. Oh, hold on. I don't know what just happened, but. Okay, but what does what? Okay, now it worked, guys. I don't know what just happened. It just glitched. Wait, the two two zero two? I don't know what's happening. I don't even know what's happening. Guys, just trust me. I don't know what's happening. It just glitched. I forgot where is that? I don't know. Use that. And then make sure that we just make sure this is high quality to get a high quality texture. <laughs> and again, we're gonna go to the Wait, is it present? Man, it's so bullshit. It is absolute BS. It is right here. Okay. Let's just... Okay, so um, I think I have a problem now. I'm sorry for the sound of the mic.
Um, I don't have a microphone, but I have a condenser. So back to the work. Um, I kind of made this model here. I'm sorry for the lag. It's not that smooth, but I'm sorry. But here's a project that I made. Uh, it is not fully finished, but except its color has finished. Now the rest of the model is like these. I have to add them. So yeah. And then I'm almost finished. I have to add more things. Like model like this and these and those. So let's check the model. And look at that. Isn't that great? I mean, this is fully maximized finished project. This isn't a fully pro finished project. It's a sniper machine. Snipe machine. Absolute unit of a gun. So yeah, it looks way better. Yeah, also like this wasn't these th these things wasn't here before, so they're at it. So it's a good sign. The design is very crazy, insanely designed with high quality resolution textures. With some of them are like 1080p, 720p, or 900p, or one of those weird resolutions that actually in fact works. I don't know what other resolutions I didn't watch. I kind of forgot. But then again, yeah, these are the designs. And what is it made of? It, the tip of the outside is made of copper. This guy, this is copper foil made up of. And this is 24K realistic gold. Then this is the black rubber where to hold the hand so that you can shoot with it. <clears throat> and then there's a sniper holder, which is a scope, the tip. Uh, this is made of platinum. And this is some shiny platinum. This is just a block and then that's the ruby ammo insert system and this is our ammunition box which is this side and this is our lapis lazuli design made system like to hold in the ammo box just so it administers as a shot and then there is this emerald thing which holds the ammo box as a barrel uh, this tip here however which is this one um, this tip here holds the ammo box preventing falling from front instead of behind front but only from fall from behind so again this is unfinished the this tip here however is made of made up of uh, brass premium brass at six uh, 600 P and this tip here which is its uh, recoil gun where it shoots and this part here is our carbon fiber or what you can say a shiny black type of rubber or what you can say as black diamond type carbon fiber makes sense i'm gonna say this is a black diamond and the tip of the body which is this one is made up of shiny metallic paint it uh, uh, originally just a metal like titanium so yeah I mostly didn't add a titanium instead I added um, what's it called what like mm, I kind of forget about this one but hopefully I'll try my best to remember I think it is uh copper oxide i'm not sure i kind of forgot about this one sorry and this is it and this is the project uh please ignore this part and again this is not unfinished this is unfinished so finishing will take its time and that's about it so what do you guys think about watching it i'm gonna pick it back so what do you guys feel it after watching this thing here the not the weapon model it is very interesting to try and then to use it. And please read in the rate it and something like if this is a good thing, good weapon or not. So yeah, and also the ammo that will con that will hold it is up to 100 rounds or 110 rounds total, because you know it's a fully automatic machine gun. It shoots. It will shoot way faster. I hope. So yeah like only like 10 bullets is consumed within like a second insane speed so yeah and that's the video five minute video dang it don't even know how is it five minutes 